Hey, Mush Eaters. This is an army review for the First Corps 1862 Army of the Potomac for the ACW mod for Napoleon Total War. As it arrived at Antietam, this corps was famously led by Fighting Joe Hooker, who commanded it in battle. Of course, we are going to be looking at them by divisions. And the division commander for First Division is Abner Doubleday. Quite a handsome fellow, don't you say? Alrighty. So, we're going to take a look at his 4th Brigade, which is by Brigadier General Gibbon. So, Gibbon's Brigade at the Battle of Antietam, they make their way straight off up to the, what is that, the Westwoods, where they get in a mix down there before they end up getting repelled for the day. So, Let's take a look at this famous historic brigade. Gibbon's Brigade is also famously known as the Black Hats or the Iron Brigade. And having earned that title at the Battle of South Mountain. Alrighty. Let's take a look at the Six Wisconsin. Their accuracy is 34 and their reloading skill is 33. Their melee attack and their charge bonus is both 10 and their defense is 16, and their morale is 14. So I definitely want to put these guys in the center of my line or to take and hold an objective, and to never let go. That's who I'm sending. All right, let's take a look at the 19th Indiana, led by Lieutenant Colonel Bachman. Their accuracy is 34. Their reloading skill is 33. Absolutely excellent. Their melee attack and charge bonus is 10. Their defense... And their morale, 16 and 14 respectively, very nice. This is without a doubt one of the best brigades. Oh yeah. Let's take a look at this. Their accuracy, this is the 2nd Wisconsin, led by Lieutenant Colonel Allen. Their accuracy is 39, and their reloading skill is 35. This is going to be a very feared regiment on the battlefield. Their melee attack and charge bonus is 12. Their defense is 18. Their morale is 16 absolutely excellent um, put these guys on a hinge point in your line and just let them kill the reps as they come in or uh any other army i suppose <laughs> all right we've got the seventh wisconsin equally as dangerous accuracy of 37 reloading skill of 33 their attack and charge is both 10 but that defense at 16 and the morale at 15 is just, you can't pass it up. All right. This is a definite include for any any time you're going to take the first core. Absolutely bring the Iron Brigade because they will do great service for you on the battlefield. All right. We're going to move over to Hoffman's Brigade. Now, Hoffman at Antietam was placed in reserve, but we're going to take a look at what his... Troops are here, bringing here to the table. Accuracy of 26, reloading skill of 27. Uh, it's okay. Their melee attack is 8. Don't expect them to charge any points for you. But their defense and their morale, both great. 12 and 14. I'll take it. All right, let's look at the 56th. They have good defense, good morale at 14 and 15. That accuracy at the 26 and 28 is good but once again that low melee attack and charge bonus we want to keep these boys as far away from the revs as we can if we can if we can help it Morning, all right got the 70th 70th the 7th indiana low accuracy and reloading skill but a highlight high melee and charge bonus at 12 and 14 a defense of 15 but wow that morale not sure about that. At seven, that's a, that's certainly a danger. They can put a lot of hurt, but I think only for a short amount of time. So be careful with these guys. They're a powerful weapon, but a dangerous one. All right. So we're looking at the 76th New York. Has 144 men. Accuracy is on the lower side, 22. Reloading skills, 22. Melee attack, once again, 12, excellent. Charge bonus, excellent. Defense, 
15. Excellent. Morale, 12 solid. All right. So maybe maybe I'll keep them and maybe leave the 56. Well, not the 56. The 7th Indiana at home. Because they can work, but I, I don't know if I want them breaking when they'll probably decide to break. All right. Now we're going to move on to Phelps's brigade. This is uh, 1st Brigade. And we've got the second United States Sharpshooters. So what I love about this unit is their range is 240, their accuracy is 45, the reloading skill is, is slow, but you can just leave them somewhere protected and just let them shoot. That's all you need. They've got a really low morale. If the enemy gets too close, they will just they'll make a run for it. They'll want absolute nothing to do with it. So keep them, keep them somewhere safe and, and let them do some great work. Always, always well worth it, in my opinion, to bring them. All right, so next up is the 24th New York with Captain John D. O'Brien. Accuracy of 25, reloading skill of 26. But this is good melee attack and charge bonus, 12 and 17. Defense 11, it's a little low, but it's fine. Morale of 13. All right. Yeah, these are good, solid New York units. All right, so the 22nd New York. Good range of 170, accuracy of 25, reloading skill of 26. Good abilities. Charge bonus of 17, defense of 14, morale of 12, melee attack of 10. Waiting for order, sir. So the 24th and the 22nd are both pretty good pretty good New York units let's see if that carries on to the 30th New York accuracy of 26 reloading skill of 27 melee attack charge bonus of 11 and 16 defense of 10 morale of 14 you know what I'm doing I'm taking this New York brigade and I'm throwing them into wherever the heaviest fighting is these are these are good guys they would pair up well with the Iron Brigade, I feel like. So, alright. 80th New York. Low accuracy and reloading skill. Low melee attack. Normal charge bonus. Defense is 12 and the morale is 10. So, probably the weakest... Weakest unit out of the group. But that's okay. We'll see. Solid service with... Uh, these four, these four boys. All right, very nice. Where would we be, of course, without the 84th New York? We already reviewed them in the last army review, but they have taken considerable amount of casualties, and they're a very elite unit to show for it. At bringing 98 men. Their accuracy is 39. Their reloading skill is 35. Their melee attack and charge bonus is 12. Their defense is 18. Their morale is 16. So if you want to bring these boys, by all means, you can. Just know that their size is limited. The brigade that they even come in is is, is pretty small. Is Patrick. All right. We're actually looking at Patrick's brigade next. Right, there's Phelps, the 30th and the 80th. Yeah, 80th New York, real solid. A little bit low on the on the melee attack. Good accuracy, reloading skill, charge bonus, nice defense, nice morale's okay. Let's look at the 23rd New York, 259 men, very nice, low. Okay, accuracy. We can say at, at 23. We've seen lower. Loading, Reloading skill is lower. Melee attack is 8. Charge bonus is 12. Defense is 12. Morale is 10. So maybe not a center line unit for those two regiments. Now let's take a look at the 35th New York. 
accuracy of 30, reloading skill of 27, bringing 252 men, melee attack of 12, charge bonus of 14, defense of 13, morale of 15, absolutely excellent unit. Always bring the 35th New York. They've got the, the manpower, they've got the stats for it. Alright, and the 21st, also with excellent stats, good accuracy. Bringing 225 men, accuracy of 30, reloading skill of 28, melee attack of 12, charge bonus of 14, defense and morale at 13 respectively. Abs great, bring them, bring them both. Do a lot of damage with both of those. So that that's what I'm getting out of first division so far. This first division should be on the attack. First and foremost. Alright. Now we're gonna look at the first division's artillery. We've got the first New York Light Battery I with Captain John A. Reynolds. Six gun, three inch. Explosive shells and canister shot and quick lime shells. Can hide in woods, scrub, grass. Remains hidden while walking. Excellent. Firepower of 12. Range of 915. It's kind of a standard. Accuracy of 65. Excellent. Loading skill of 30. Morale of 40. Those are good guns right there. Alright. And head all the way over here. Take a look at the New Hampshire Light. First battery. Napoleon's. Six guns. Range of 810. Accuracy of 65. Reloading skill of 30. If I'm if I'm taking these this Napoleon, I'm gonna bring it up close. Somewhere where I know I can do some damage. I wanna target enemy artillery first. Alright. Let's see. Who's next? Alright, we've got the fourth United States Battery B, Captain Joseph B. Campbell. Six guns, 12, 12 pound Napoleons. Firepower of 180. Range of 810. Accuracy of 65. Reloading skill of 30. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Bring the fourth. When you get the chance. Alright. First Rhode Island. Battery D. Captain Albert Monroe. Six guns. 12 pound Napoleons. Standard ac accuracy and firepower. But just be aware. If you're going to bring Napoleons... The enemy has rifled guns. They can they can knock them out from a distance. And it can be a one-sided one affair pretty quickly. Alright. That ends with the first division. Let's take a look at the second and third. Seymour's Brigade. Holding probably one of the most... I mean, there's many famous units in the American Civil War, but the Bucktails have got to be up there with a lot of them. So, the 13th Pennsylvania Reserves... Famously, the Pennsylvania Reserves were held in reserve by the state of Pennsylvania after no more volunteers could go to defeat the rebellion. The Pennsylvania governor was like, well, this is a war. I doubt it'll be over soon. So instead of disbanding everybody and sending them home, he just kept them in the Pennsylvania Army training and getting ready. And When they had the chance and when they were needed, he they were called up, he dispatched them to Washington, a fresh division of Pennsylvania boys, and that's who all of these gentlemen make up as part of Meade's. Alright. Let's take a look at the 13th. Accuracy is 30. Excellent. 237 men they're bringing to the battlefield. Their reloading skill is 24. Their melee attack isn't great, but their charge bonus makes up for it. And their defense is 14, and their morale is 12. So good shots. Can't go wrong there. All right. Let's take a look at the 6th Pennsylvania. All righty. 314 men. Accuracy is 23. Reloading skill is 22. Their melee attack and charge bonus is rounded, which is okay. And their defense and morale is 10. So not great. Aren't uh, definitely going to have my general nearby when I'm moving a couple of these guys around. All right. The second Pennsylvania Reserves with Captain Burns there. Accuracy of 27. Reloading skill of 26. Melee attack of 10. Charge bonus of 14. Defense is 12. Morale is 12. 
doing pretty good in a fight. That's all we can really talk about. All right. First Pennsylvania reserves. Accuracy of 25. Reloading skill of 24. Melee attack of 11. Charge of bonus of 10. Good defense and morale. So this is, this is a good brigade. I'm going to let him duke him out with the rebs, but... And if I bring him, you're getting a large brigade. Every single one of these guys is over 200. Yeah. So, that's something that your enemy will have to contend with as well. It's how large this brigade you're, you're bringing will be. Especially in how they're going to combat it. Alright. So, the 5th Pennsylvania Reserves here, they've got fucking ball. They've got that 100 range. It's something to be aware of. Maybe you should put them back here. And uh, when you're on the move, have them hang back. And that way, if the rebels try and slip through or there's a gap, they can fill it. Uh, accuracy of 27, reloading skill of 24, melee attack of 10, charge bonus of 14, defense of 14, which is good, morale of 12. So overall, a very good brigade. Let's see more there. So can't can't go wrong. That's um, first brigade, I think. All right. Now we're going to look at McGilton's brigade. This is second brigade. Colonel Milton. You know, if you're wondering why the ranks for brigade leadership is all over the place, it's because everybody gets shot in the Civil War at least once. It seems. Uh, Antietam Hooker himself gets shot in the foot, so anything can happen. All right, so we're looking at the first PA reserves. Also bringing Buck and Ball. Accuracy of 27, reloading skill of 24. Melee attack, 10. Charge bonus and defense, 14, which is good. Morale of 12. All right. We've got the 8th here. Scare horses. All right. Accuracy of 22, reloading skill of 24. Melee attack of 11, charge bonus of 13. Defense and morale is pretty low, though. So, maybe have our our commander nearby if we're going to be using these guys. All right, let's look at the fourth. PA here. Fourth Pennsylvania, by uh, led by Major Nice. Low accuracy and reloading skill. Okay, attack and charge bonus. Defense is, is 11. Better than nothing, but their morale is also low. So, something to be a little bit careful of in, in the 2nd Brigade. Got some morale issues. Yeah, same here. Morale is 6. Charge bonus is 14. So, they'll charge for you, but they won't last long in the, in the, in the fight. Alrighty. So, Meade's Division also brings the 1st Pennsylvania Light Battery A. By Lieutenant John G. Simpson. By. Like he wrote it or something. 12 pound Napoleons. Firepower 120. Range 810. Accuracy 65. Yeah, good Napoleons. 10 pound Parrots. Firepower of 12. Range of 925. Accuracy 55. Loading skill of 25. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave you at home. 5th United States, yeah, same stats. So you have two parrot rifles you can bring, 10 pounds. I, uh, I don't bring very many parrots, so you'll have to... I usually bring three inches or Napoleons. Somewhere in the other howitzers if I need it. Or mortars, depending upon what army I'm, I'm leading. All right, let's take a look. Um, yeah, Gilton's boys... Alrighty. We've got Anderson's Brigade. 10th Pennsylvania Reserves. Low accuracy and reloading skill. Low melee attack. Slight charge bonus. A better morale than some of the others. Alrighty. 11th Pennsylvania. Low accuracy. Melee attack, charge bonus, defense, medium morale at 11. So just barely making the cut, but... Morning, All 
Right. Ninth Pennsylvania, 264 men. I mean, these are small, small regiments too. Melee attack of nine, charge bonus of twelve, defense of ten, morale eleven. All right. Let's look at the 12th Pennsylvania here. Low accuracy and reloading skill. Subpar melee attack and charge bonus and defense. So there's only I only really liked one brigade out of here. With uh out of Seymour, so we'll have to take a look. Third division. This is second division with Brigadier General Ricketts. Was also wounded in this battle. So we're gonna take a look at Duryi's brigade. Where are these boys at? Yeah, fa nice fancy blue uniforms. All right, accuracy. There we go. So they're bringing 298 men. Their accuracy is 25. Their reloading skill is 25. Their melee attack is 16. Their charge bonus is 23. Their defense is seven. But this is fighting Joe Hooker's army, and so I'm, I'm not worried about defense. But I'm, I'm putting these boys in the front line, and we're not stopping until we take Richmond. All right. Reporting, General. We've got the 104th. Good accuracy at 26. Reloading skill at 24. Melee attack of 13. Charge charge bonus at 12. Defense of 6 and morale of 11. Reporting, General. All right. 107th with Dur Duryi's Brigade. Accuracy of 27, reloading skill of 26, melee attack and charge bonus 14 and 23. Excellent. Defense of seven, morale of, of 12. So enough, but I would I would stick a general behind him and I'd lead this lead these boys on a brigade charge if I could. All right, 97th New York. Accuracy of 27, reloading skill of 28, just 210 men though. Melee attack of 12, a charge bonus of 14. Defense of 7, morale of 11, so. Alright. This New York bra Brigade. Bring them. <laughs> They'll give your. Put them on the attack, leave them in reserve, and when you need them, call them out. They'll serve you well, no doubt. Alright, next up is Christian's Brigade. We have the 88th Pennsylvania. Led by Lieutenant George W. Guile. Accuracy of 25, reloading skill of 32. Perfect. Melee attack of 15. Charge bonus of 18. But once again, that low defense and morale. 6 and 10. So, you know exactly how you should be using these guys. 270 men in the 90th Pennsylvania. Their accuracy is great at 25. Their reloading skill is good. Oh my goodness, it's good at 32. Their melee attack and charge bonus is both 15. Perfect. Their defense is 6 and their morale is 10. So don't let these guys get charged, but you can definitely use them in one. Reporting, General. All right, we've got the 94th New York. Lieutenant Colonel Calvin Littlefield. Accuracy of 26. Reloading skill of 30. Perfect. A little bit... On the low melee attack. Charge bonus is good at 14. Defense of 9. Morale of 10. Wait for orders, sir. Not bad. Alright. 26th New York. Accuracy of 26. Reloading skill of 30. Perfect. Melee attack is a little low. Charge bonus is nice though. And their defense and morale is both 10. So I can't complain there. Alright. Let's go to Hartsuff's Brigade. Take a look here. All right, the 26th New York, Lieutenant Colonel Richardson, 340 men, nice big brigade. This is this is going to shape up to be. Accuracy of 26, reloading skill of 30, great. Melee attack of nine, charge bonus of 15, defense and morale at both 10. It's a solid choice. That is a solid choice. All right, 13th Massachusetts. Bringing 301 men, accuracy of, of 27, reloading skill of 30, melee attack of 9, charge bonus of 17. Oh yeah. This is, uh, 
themed correctly. I, I want these boys in the East Woods, that's for sure. All right, 11th Pennsylvania, 235 men, accuracy of 27, reloading skill of 33, melee attack of 14, charge bonus of 24, defense of 7, morale of 14. Let's see. The 12th Massachusetts. Accuracy of 27. The loading skill of 30. Melee attack of 15. Charge bonus of 25. Oh my goodness. This is, this is a big old regiment too. Oh. Just don't let them get charged. Keep them on the attack. And both of the... This is a... Second, second, second division. Let's combine second division and first division together. And maybe a little bit of the Pennsylvania boys. But I don't know if these these guys are worth taking. Maybe in a pinch if you, if you can afford some of them or something. But. Alright. That's, that's just such a crazy charge bonus. 25 with melee attack of 15. Such a large regiment. Morale is 12, defense is 7. Alright, let's take a look at their cannons. Pennsylvania Light Battery. Battery C, 12 pound Napoleons, 4 guns. And, oh yeah, 1st Pennsylvania Light Battery F. Captain Matthews, 4 guns, 3 inch. This is what I. This was. Th this is exactly what I use to knock out Rebel Cannons. It's three inches. Just a horde of three inches. Bring them in. And if they get close enough, I'll, I'll shoot Napoleons. But All right. So this is our review of going over all of the individual units. I hope you found it interesting. And if you and your friend wanted to do the battle of each core... You could play as this wing, because this is all one army. And he could play as the entire first division. And then you could fight two rebel players. And you would be able to reenact this part of the battlefield. Uh, with historical accuracy. Which, which is great. Which is one of the many reasons why I love this, this game. So, Alrighty. My personal opinion with the... First Corps, Army of the Potomac. Absolutely bring these boys into the fight. They are meant... Their, their commander is fighting Joe Hooker. Bring him, if you want. And get the rest of these boys into the fight as well. They're absolutely on their best on the offensive. And some of the weakness for the Corps definitely is with its defense values and some of its brigades. That can certainly hurt you in the long runs in a in long battle. So know where your your good defensive units are, and the ones that can carry the day for you. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you in the next episode. For this, we will be doing the second core of 1862. So going into a little bit more depth with these units, I think, is helpful for people who play this mod. There's so many choices. And they look at it, and they're like, I don't know. So I hope this helps just a little bit for somebody out there. There are also people who are smarter than I am. So come join the Discord. You can come play with us. It's a whole lot of fun. And uh, we have certainly many more armies to go. With that, Mush Eaters, I will see you in the next episode. And hopefully, I'll see you on the battlefield. Have a great one. Bye.